Hey everyone, welcome back to Snag Bear, and I wanted to do a uh, review of the Rolex Submariner reference 114060. Uh, now this is a very uh, a very classic uh, a timepiece. It's automatic, of course, uh, in-house Rolex movement. Uh, not not like a lot of uh, uh, Swiss watch manufacturers that use ETA based movement. So it's very um, very high quality. Uh, the resale of the of the Rolex, especially the Submariner, is is hard to beat. Uh, actually, a lot of people base the uh, or try to gauge the value of a timepiece based upon the uh, the Submariner's performance. That's how iconic it is, uh, not just from a design perspective, but also from a uh, uh, from a resale perspective. And you can see it's got the new glide lock clasp on it. And it's it's a huge improvement. Actually, the links within the bracelet now are uh, the bracelet solid instead of hollow. And that was a complaint that a lot of people had about previous Submariner models. And you can make, uh, you can make micro adjustments with this bracelet because it's the glide lock. It's just really easy to... Uh, really easy to do. I uh, couldn't be happier with the just the overall comfort of this piece. Now uh, one thing that people complain about they say it wears a little bit bigger and it is a 40 millimeter watch uh, but it does wear a little bit bigger because of this design here the way the crown sticks out and and uh, one complaint that people had whereas in older Submariner models you had the uh, the drilled lugs, so if you wanted to swap the bracelet out with, say, a NATO strap or something, you could simply use a tool and push that. Uh, now to detach the bracelet, it's it's a little bit uh, not trickier, but a lot of people preferred the uh, the previous drilled lug design of Submariner. But uh, just a really great watch. I mean, a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people despise this model because it is heavily counterfeited. But if you're if you're looking for something that's waterproof, something you can wear anywhere, I mean, it'll take a beating. And and this uh, this steel, that stainless steel that this is made out of, is is among the best uh, grade stainless steel out there. So it's pretty cool. And again, you know, it's the uh, a ceramic bezel. Uh, there is there is platinum around there, and then all of the uh, the markers there they're surrounded by by white gold. And the bezel action on this thing is just listen to that. I mean it's perfect. It does have the maxi dial, uh, maxi dial just meaning the larger uh, the larger markers. And it says Submariner, 1,000 foot, 300 feet, superlative chronometer, officially certified. And then Swiss made at the bottom. A lot of people don't like that, uh, the four liner on the dial, but I mean, I personally could care less. I, I like this model a lot. You know, one of the main selling points is the, uh, is the bezel being ceramic. It's less susceptible to scratch and or uh, become damaged. Now, it could still shatter, but like the previous previous Submariner models, it is replaceable. And it's uh, something that some people don't like is the high shine. You can see there the, uh, the bezel's really shiny. And, and a lot of people preferred the, uh, the older model bezel that was not ceramic because it didn't have as much shine. But, you know, that's all personal preference. I mean, this thing is a tank. You, you can wear it anywhere and, and you know, it, it'll, it'll really take a beating. But just a, you know, classic design that should never go out of style. Should always be a highly desirable piece. So, I know I've enjoyed it. What are your thoughts? Leave a review. Go to uh, snagbear.com and you can post a review of uh, 
of this timepiece and many other items as well. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to share this video and any of my videos with others. See how big it wears on the wrist for, 40, for a 40 millimeter. That's pretty cool. Have a good one.